Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're taking a look at iMessage and I will show you guys some really cool hidden features, tricks and hacks that you will be able to find on the iMessage app. Now, of course, the iMessage app is probably one of the most used stock apps of iOS, but a lot of users don't know about these hidden features and tricks that I'm about to show you guys in this video. Like this one right here. Whenever someone sends you a text and it mentions a picture or a video like this one right here, where it says send me a picture, if you actually want to send the picture, all you have to do is just tap on the picture word and you can see right there it will take you right to your photos app and from here you can go ahead and select your picture and send it right away. Now here's something really cool. If you get a text message but that message maybe is a bit too long and you don't want to read it, you can have your iPhone speak it to you. The way it works, you simply tap and hold the message and right there it says speak, you can tap on it and your iPhone will start reading your message. But for this to work, first of all, you will need to head on to your settings and then go right here under accessibility and then go to spoken content and make sure you have speak selection turned on on your device. Now, whenever you're typing a message like this one right here, if you want to delete the complete message, of course you tap and hold the backspace right there, but it will take a few seconds and you will have to hold the button there for a few seconds for the message to actually delete. What you can do is simply shake your device. Now usually what it will do, it will actually delete the last word, but on iMessage when you tap on it, it completely deletes the whole message. Now on your iPhone, when you're sending voice messages with the iMessage app, you will notice something really cool here. So you can see if I have sent a voice message, now it shows the voice button right there. Now if I send a text message like this, it will actually remove that button after a few messages. But if you frequently send voice messages, then you will get the button right here and you can just tap and hold on it and this will allow you to send a new voice message as easy as that. So if you're frequently sending voice messages, just know that you will see right there the voice icon so you don't have to tap here and go to audio in order to send a voice message. Now what's really cool about voice messages is that you can actually save them as audio files. So whenever you receive a voice message that you want to save, you can just go ahead, tap on it, and then you can just tap right here, save to voice memos, and it will be saved of course on the voice memos app. So you go right here, and all your messages will be saved on this app. Of course, you can even categorize them into different folders. So you have a different folder for your recording and a different one for your voice messages. Now, when getting voice messages, if you get a voice message that is actually a bit too long and you wanna play it faster, you can do that and the way to do that is tap and hold not the message but the play icon. So make sure you tap right there. You can see you can play from 1x to 125, 150 and of course 2x. That's the speed to which you can actually play that message and it will even show right there at which speed it's playing your messages. Now, when you get messages on your iPhone, there are a few different ways to which you can reply to a message. One of them is tap and hold right here and then tap on reply. Another one will be like swiping like this to quickly reply to that message or another one will be double tapping. You double tap there and it gives you now two options. You will have the option to react to that message or reply to that message as easy as that. So if you double tap, you get both the reaction and also the reply button. Now, whenever you react to one of your messages or a message you have received with an emoji, did you know that you can actually place the emoji pretty much anywhere on the message? It won't be like you can just place it right here. You can just start moving it around. You can of course tap and hold it. This will allow you to even resize it. And you can just place it anywhere you want on that message. On your messages, whenever you have a sticker, whether someone has reacted to one of your messages with the sticker or it's your own one, if you tap and hold, you will be able to actually save that sticker to your stickers. So right here it says save to stickers, which is pretty cool. Another one, if you have like a reaction to a message, you can tap and hold on that message, like this one right here. Let me just 
zoom this out a bit. So right here, what you will have to do is tap on sticker details. What this allows you to do is see the sticker. It shows you the date when it was sent. Of course, the contact who has sent it. And from here, you will be able to delete the sticker or save it as your own as well. This one right here is very useful. Whenever you're talking to someone on iMessage and you want to send them your current location, all you have to do is just type I'm at and then the space bar and right here it gives you the option to send your current location. You want to do that, tap right here and you can share your current location with your contact that you're speaking to. Did you know that on your messages, on the iMessage app, you can enable a subject for your messages, just like the one that you have on your email. So the way to do that, head on to your settings, go under messages, and from here, make sure that you find subject. So let me just find that here real quick. So there we have a show subject field. We enable that. And then right here, when you want to send a message, you will have the subject and then the message right here. Now, whenever you're speaking to someone on iMessage, you will be able to tap on their icon. And what this allows you to do is that it allows you to actually hide the reading recipes. So you can see right here, send read recipes. You can enable it or disable it for each of your contacts. So if you don't want to do that for the whole app, like everyone won't get your read recipes, you can do that actually manually for each of your contacts. Simply tap on their photo and then right here where it says send read recipes, just go ahead and disable that, that actual button right here and you're good to go. Now on iMessage, whenever you have deleted a message and you want to recover it, you will find it on the recently deleted folder right here. But most people probably won't see this folder at all on their device. Now the way to enable this, simply head on to your settings, go under iMessage, and what you need to do right here is just make sure you have enabled filter unknown senders. Once you have done that, then it will show you all these folders and just right down there, you will also get this folder where you will find all the recently deleted messages, which will be there 30 days after you have deleted them from your iMessage app. Now, whenever you receive a picture on the iMessage app, if you want to reply to that picture, all you have to do is double tap and right here will get the reply button just like on a message. But what you can also do is open that picture and then you will also get the reply button and it shows you this interface right here from where you can actually reply to that picture. Or what you can do is tap this button right here that will show you all kinds of different reactions which you can use to react to that certain photo. And if you want to copy messages from one of your conversation, of course, you can do that for a message. So if I just drag this right here, I can place it anywhere I want and it will basically paste that message. But what you can do, once you have selected one of them, you can actually tap on other messages and you will be able to actually copy all of them at the same time. So you can see we have there four messages and we can just go ahead and paste all of them right here at the same time and send it anywhere we want. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are some really cool hidden features, tips and tricks and hacks that you will be able to find on the iMessage app that I think a lot of people don't actually know about. Thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, of course, for more. I'll see you on the next one.